to it's keys obviously <laughs> uh, right now when i just said obviously i was just thinking about the comment someone left me on my last video or one of my recent videos um hey girl uh, when she asked me not to say obviously in the beginning of my video so um hey guys <laughs> No, I'm joking. Hey guys, it's Keys, obviously, and today I'm coming to do my foundation routine for my acne-prone skin. As you guys know, I do suffer from acne. I've had acne since, like, birth. <laughs> no, I've had acne since, like, second grade. You guys know I have been doing a lot of things to help improve my skin, and my skin has definitely improved um, tremendously. I do have some videos in regards to my acne, um, I guess, acne journey, and I'll leave those down below. But I did want to show you guys how I apply my foundation or do my makeup routine with my acne prone skin um by no means by no means necessary to believe myself to be a makeup artist or believe that these are the steps you have to take but this is just simply what i do so um you can take or delete or whatever you want to do from this video but i hope this video helps someone i just want to show you guys how i do it for my acne prone skin um i hope you guys enjoyed this video please continue to subscribe comment and rate you guys have any questions definitely leave them down below and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you can't tell, I'm using my hands so much because I'm trying to show off my polish. <laughs> no, so this color I'm wearing is by the brand Zoya. It's called Hunter. I'm like OD obsessed with this polish. It is like the perfect dream. Excuse the unevenness of my nails. These are my natural nails and I did not want to cut them. But like I'm super obsessed with this green color. It's so pretty. Um, totally random, but like... You guys see me doing my spirit fingers and all this hand movement because I'm trying to show my polish off, okay? I did this manicure myself. <laughs> no, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, I'm not a makeup artist. This is just what I do. So some of the things I may do may not necessarily be right, but I, and I always like the end result. So my boyfriend ain't complaining, so it must be working out. <laughs> um, bye bye, loud truck, for interrupting my video. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy. And I already said subscribe. So thumbs it up. Thumbs it down if you don't like it. If you don't like it, just go away. Don't thumbs it down. It hurts my feelings. Um, okay, this is long enough. Bye guys. Okay, so this is me with absolutely no makeup on. My skin was freshly washed and moisturized. Next, I'm going to go ahead and apply my primers. I use two primers. I use Smash Smashbox Photo Finish um, or Photo Ready Primer. And then NYX Shine Killer Primer. So I put both of those primers on. And then I wait about 30 seconds before I actually apply my foundation. So the two foundations I'm going to be using is L'Oreal um, Infallible Pro Matte Foundation in Soft Sable. And then Max Pro Longwear Foundation in NC50. And all I'm going to do is mix those two shades together. And then apply it on my skin. Usually what I actually do is color correct first. Um, using my um, red color corrector or salmon color corrector to cancel out any darkness like around my eye area but I totally forgot to do so in this video but usually I do that if you have any type of darkness it helps color um, cancel those colors so I'm just gonna apply the foundation and blend it out using this buffing brush the next thing I'm gonna do is go ahead and highlight using my max pro longwear concealer in NC42 I'm using this damp beauty blender and I'm going to apply that underneath my eyes, um, down the bridge of my nose, underneath my chin, and a little bit above my cupid's bow. And you want to make sure you blend this out really, really good. You guys are going to see that I was like totally rushed and I didn't have my contacts on so my nose could have been blended out a lot better. So you just want to make sure you do take your time and blend out your concealer extremely well. Like you do not want to have a crossword puzzle on your face. <laughs> So next I'm going to be taking this NYX color or conceal palette and I'm going to use that dark brown color to um, do a cream contour with. So I'm going to apply that down the bridge of my nose or on the side of my nose. Um, add some fake little cheekbones I'm going to do on the side of my face and again on the top of my head. And I'm going to blend that out using my Real, Tech, Real Technique <laughs> sponge. And again this sponge is damp as well. Next, I'm going to go ahead and set my under eye concealer or my highlighted areas using my Cody Airspun Translucent Powder. I absolutely love this powder. It makes you look super flawless. It hides your pores and it's just a great um, setting powder. I'm going to go ahead and use my Contour Anastasia or Anastasia Contour Palette. That dab right there. <laughs> I'm going to use um, Havana to um, contour my face or set my contour with. So I'm putting that all the places I contoured and then I'm going to use e.l.f. Antigua blush or bronzer to deepen up that contour a bit. 
I did my brows off camera. And guys, as you guys know, brows are cousins. They're not sisters. They're cousins, okay? <laughs> so they look a little bit different. But I'm going to go ahead and brush off that translucent powder. And then I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my face a little bit more using this Milani Baked Bronzer in Golden. And then I'm going to set my face using my MAC Studio Fix. Yeah, Studio. I think that's the Studio Fix Powder in NC50. And then I'm going to go back into that Anastasia Contour Kit and use 10K to highlight my nose a little bit more. Next, I'm going to use my favorite blush, which is Max Raisin, to add a little bit of blushiness to my face. And then I'm going to use this highlighter by Ruby Kisses. Um, and yeah, highlight my face very lightly. I don't really put too much highlight because I do have acne textured skin, so you don't want to put too much sparkles or gold and glowy stuff on your face. That just attracts, like, it'll just look like really horrible, okay? Just don't put too much sparkles on your face. Anyways, next I'm going to go ahead and, um, move on to mascara, which is totally not with the foundation, but I'm using Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, one of my favorite mascaras. And I'm applying it to my upper and lower lashes. I can go a little bit crazy with mascara because I'm super obsessed with like clumpy eyelashes. I know some people are totally against it, but I love really like exaggerated lashes. So then I'm going to use my MAC Zoom Lash. It's actually a sample I have and I absolutely love this mascara. I'm going to buy the full size. And I'm going to apply that on top of Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. Next I'm going to the lips. I'm using MAC Anti Velvet Lipstick. And then NYX, or not NYX, Wet n Wild Mocha Licious Lipstick on top of that. And then NYX Echo Lipstick. I have no idea what this color is, but it came out pretty cute. And then this is the end look. Really simple. I don't really do too much. I don't really like a full face. Just something that's really natural and make you look a little bit better than when you wake up. <laughs> so if you guys enjoyed this video, thanks for watching. Bye guys.